Right. Some questions on Irish mythology, legend and folklore. Uh, 20 questions. I will stop after 10 and give the answers. And then I will give the next 10 questions and then give the answers to those. From this little book here. So with no further ado, let us begin. Number one, how old was the victor at the cattle raid of Cooley? Number two, who divided Ireland along the Esker Rieda? Number three, where is Cormac MacArch reputedly buried? Number four, in myth, who was the white cow goddess? Number five, who was the child of the two, sorry, who was the chief of the Tuatha de Danann, the first Irish gods? Number six, who was the mother's mother of twins, Fenula and A? Number seven, in the legend of the Fianna, what was the land of eternal youth? Number eight, who was Cúholan's best friend whom he killed? Number nine, what is Tontoinme? Tontoinme. Number ten, which son and daughter of Noah sailed to Ireland when there was no room in the ark? Okay, let's look at the answers. Um, let's look at the answers very quickly, moving straight to the answers. Right. Number one, the victor of the epic battle in the cattle raid of Cooley or the Tonbo Cooley or Tonbo Kulna, um, was 17. Number two, Ireland was divided along the Esker Rieda by Con Carnac, Con Carnac, or Con Ketternac. Number three, Cormac MacArch is reportedly buried in Ross Common. Number four, the white cow goddess was called Rosnari, Rosnari. Sorry, sorry. Number three, Cormac MacArch is reputedly buried in Rosnari. Number four, the white cow goddess is called Boand. Number five, the chief of the two at Danon was called the Dagda or the Dagda Moor. Number six, the mother of the twins, Fanula and A, was Ave, Ave. Number seven, in the legend of the Fianna, the land of the eternal youth was Chirnanog, and there's a famous epic poem about Oshin and his travels to Chirnanog. Uh, number eight, Cuchulain's best friend, who he had to fight in battle in the town, was Ferdia. Fight in battle and kill. Number nine, the town Tonya was a magic wave. And number ten, number ten, the son and daughter of Noah, who sailed to Ireland, there's no room at the Ark, were Bith and Cesar, Bith and Cesar, early ancestors of the Irish. Now, the influence on the pre existing Irish mythology, then the early Celtic Irish mythology, which grew and changed into unique Irish mythology, and of course, then the coming of the Christians who wrote down and recorded much of the Irish oral tradition mythology, changed it 
Hence, we have the likes of Noah's Ark appearing in Irish mythology. Um, on to more questions. Number 11. Who was the last man to survive the escape from the Great Flood in 2958 BC, according to Irish legend? Number 12. Which Sanskrit goddess is linked with Maeve, Maeve the Queen of Connacht in the Tonbo Cooley? Number 13. Whose unborn child was cut from Maeve's womb and grew up to be a warrior? Number 14. How was Loch Gill formed? Number 15. What did Lir turn his second wife into? Number 16. Who are the only people capable of hearing the silver bell at the bottom of Loch Gill? Number 17. Where was the home of the giantess loved by Fionn McCool? Number 18. Which giant followed Fionn and Una? Back to Ireland. Number 19. Who was the leader of the Formorians? And number 20. In the Ulster cycle of mythology, who was Lou? He was also known as Lou Lavada. Okay, and the answers to the second set of 10. The last man to survive the escape from the Great Flood was Fintan. The um, Sanskrit goddess linked with Maeve called Madhu. Madhu. The unborn child cut from Maeve's womb who grew up to be a warrior was a character called Clodro. Clodro. Um, Loch Gill was formed from the tears of a twice bereaved nursemaid. Uh, number 15. Lear turned his second wife into a vulture. Number 17. The only people capable of hearing the silver bell at the bottom of Loch Gill are those without sin. Um, sorry, that was number 16. Number 17, the home of the giant, um, the giantess, uh, who was loved by Fionn McCool, was Staffa. Number um, 18, the giant who followed Fionn and Una back to Ireland was Bren Donner. Bren Donner. Number 19, the leader of the Fomorians was a particularly um, formidable and combative uh, king called Baelor of the Evil Eye. And the Fomorians were also known as the Sea People. Uh, Number 19, Lu was the god of craftsmen and artisans, but Lu, Lu Lavada, was also the god of light. Hope you've enjoyed this set of questions on Irish mythology. Thank you very much.